Hello there everyone, today I'm going to tie a small uh, Mayfly nymph. I'm going to use this uh, new port system. This is the stone clinger, uh, stone clinger kit for, for making uh, stone clingers. I must say that uh, I don't find that these uh, pro, uh, stone clinger uh, exactly looks like uh, like stone clingers, but but they do look a lot like mayfly nymphs. So so that is what I'm gonna do with these today. They are pretty cool, and you can make some very very nice looking fly fairly easy. So I'm very fond of these, but I must say that the shape of them are not what I would have done if if I were to make a stone clinger like a heptagenia or something like that. First of all, I'm gonna take some uh, some pheasant tail. I'm gonna take th three strands of these to to make for the 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 the, the three uh, <laughs> the three tails the three tail. What do you call them? Tail. I don't know what they're called, but but to make the 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 split tail. And then I'm gonna take the tying thread and just tie in between these to make sure that these stay where I want them to be. This is going to be a fairly realistic nymph. Um, of course, as soon as this will hit the water, this all this you've done here is probably not going to make that much of an impact or, or have any difference whatsoever. But it looks well. It looks great on the fly, especially in the box. And and if you like to to make realistic nymphs, then this is definitely one of the ways to go. Well, so far so good. Then I'm going to take. Um, take these um, stone clinger nymphs um, and uh, what this kit uh, consists of is, is two parts it has a, it has a body part and then it has a head part and first of all we're going to tie down this body part and it's going to be exactly where the tail starts just going to be on top of the hook like so just tie that down, and as you can see, I have already attached a, uh, a black tungsten bead. This is uh, because even though this fly is gonna look fairly realistic, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be uh, to be able to fish this fly as well. I think that it's it's it, it's it's important to make flies that are nice looking and and that you really want to fish but it's important to make them um to make them useful as well so if you're just tying flies for for fun that's fine also i think and and i've done a lot of that myself as well but but from now 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 i, I tend to to do most of my flies with the, the purpose of actually going out and and <laughs> casting them into the streams and for that purpose, you need to have some weight to uh, to your flies. What I'm doing now is I'm applying some uh, some uh, some brown uh, SLF squirrel dubbing, a very nice uh, dubbing that has a lot of uh, a lot of hairs in it, uh, that will uh, give this uh, rugged uh, rugged appearance, uh, which is is very good for uh, for almost every fly, any fly, any type of nymph. So basically, basically what I'm doing is, is I'm just dubbing a, a body uh, of this this brown dubbing, and then further on we're just gonna take this and lay it uh, down on top of this uh, this body made from from dubbing. Of course, I'm gonna taper this so it's it's gonna be thin at the at the end down towards the tail. Uh, and then it's gonna be thicker and thicker all the way up here towards where I want it to uh, to stop. I think that's approximately where I want this to end. So like that. And I'm taking a bit more dubbing, I think, just a little a wee bit more. I'm taking my hackle plier, gripping, on, holding on to the uh, the um, the body part of this, tying all this down, cutting away the rest of the the stump, 
and as you can see now you have uh, this body that looks very very realistic and also it's it's pretty nice because you have down uh, down below you have uh, all these these fibers that's that sticks out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tungsten bead and I'm gonna jam it all the way up to where uh, the body ends like so I'm gonna apply a small amount of dubbing just to cover it like so and then I'm gonna make a loose turn up thread uh, to the other side of this uh, tungsten bead like that so the tungsten bead is now just becoming part of well, the, the actual body of this fly <laughs> oh this is not good I forgot something Well, that can easily be rectified. I'm just putting uh, the tank thread back behind to exactly where the uh, the uh, the pro, uh, uh, body material uh, uh, stopped, and then I'm gonna take a small um, a small partridge feather. I'm gonna strip all the the uh, this one is dyed olive but a, a normal sized a normal colored will will do fine as well i'm going to strip all the 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 under wool or <laughs> all the lower part of the feather away because we're going to tie this in in uh, in the tip then very carefully very carefully i am uh, folding every fiber backwards like so, and then it's important to tie this down uh, at completely the right angle. So you're gonna take this, and then you're gonna tie it down on top here, like so. Uh, so you're 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 tying it down so that the the side that is upwards when it's when it's on uh, on, on the partridge is is pointing downwards because when you turn this over then you will get something that uh, that imitates the legs of uh, of the nymph very very well. Cutting off the, uh, the the part of the feather that I don't need, making another turn of of the tying thread. Up forward again and then I'm taking the uh, the head section of this uh, stone clinger uh, stone clinger material tying this down all the way up here in the front like that making sure this is exactly in the place I wanted tying all this down taking some dubbing just a little bit of this brown dubbing again is, is, is nice and, and, and works fine. Make sure not to catch any of your partridge hackle feathers, uh, hackle, uh, uh, partridge hackles in here. Taking a little more dubbing. Like so. Then I'm gonna fold everything back here this is actually a bit too many fibers so about that I would say would be sufficient keep everything in place pulling this tight cutting off like so Turning the head part of this pro nymph down. Making sure everything is in place on top of the nymph. Like that. Making a s small whip finish. And there you have it. 
my take on uh, on the pro uh, the pro stone clinger like so with a tungsten bead to uh, to to be sure that this fly actually uh, is 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 working and uh, and is fishable as well well those were the words thank you for listening